Welcome to Rocket ATM Tutorials. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to program a Paloon ATM machine. So it has an error code right now, but uh, in order to log in, the uh, functions are clear, enter, one, two, three, and then you'll ask, be asked to enter a password. By the way, before you enter a password, uh, this version of software is the uh, latest as of February 21st, 2020. So if you have a version that is not V0407, uh, or if it's lower than that, like 03 or V03.00 point whatever, you need a software update. So anyway, it's timed out. So clear, enter, one, two, three. It's gonna ask you for a password. You enter your password that your processor would give you. If you don't have one, you need to contact uh, us and we can uh, set up your account. And then press enter. So we have the uh, configuration menus here, as you can see. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just jump straight into config uh, and start programming this ATM machine. The welcome messages, that's when customers come to, uh, come to the ATM, that's kind of what they'll see. It's pretty straightforward. If you wanna change the characters uh, to letters, you can hit characters. If you want numeric uh, options, you can uh, use that and you can see what line you're programming. So right now I'm gonna be programming welcome to Sirius one because the, the, the box is filled. If I go there, then now I'll be programming this particular one and I can watch this. If I hit clear, it, it just wipes that out. And if I go there and I wanna wipe that out, I just hit clear. And so you, as you can see, you can program in, program in, program what you, what you need. I'm just gonna go back to this second screen here and just show you uh, how to do characters, capital characters, small characters. So welcome to uh, Sirius ATM and I'm just gonna say hello here. H E L So I needed a double L. So I kinda used the cursor to move forward by using this plus button, but it looks like I jumped a couple of extra digits there. So I'm going to go back, back, back. There we go. There's the L and then, oh, hello. If that's what I wanted it to say after that, just hit okay and it'll be saved. Checking your date and time, pretty straightforward. You don't have to sync the host time, but date and time uh, is very straightforward. Uh, if you want to do your date, you do this. If you want to do your time, you're doing that. And then you're just entering your uh, timing on your keypad here and that should be pretty self-explanatory so I'm gonna leave the easy stuff till uh, let you guys figure that out if you need help of course contact support but set up ATM is where we want to go so from here we're gonna go to picking and choosing which uh, processor that we're with you have uh, various processors that you can choose from uh, contact support and when you set up your account we will uh, go ahead and assign which uh, which processor that you're going to be processing with uh, in this case I'm just going to pick uh, number two here for switch commerce so hit that number two and hit OK uh, the nation of course is going to be uh, USA for, for what we have going on right now so that's already selected so I'm just going to hit exit and let's just carry on here. Card reader type, you, don't, you shouldn't have to be changing any of these things by default, they're all fine. Go to next, communication type. We wanna put it on the internet, which is already selected, so I don't have to do anything there. Uh, not worrying about downloads, reboot times. Out of paper is a nice uh, function. You wanna always let the ATM carry on with transactions, so we want it to be continuing the transactions when it runs out of paper. So at least it'll allow a balance to come up on the screen for the customer and they can still do their business. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, ADA, we don't have to really uh, get into that. So I'm just gonna exit there and just kind of continue with next. Um, selecting receipt is uh, uh, disabled. That basically means we will not allow customers to 
choose whether they get a receipt or not. Every customer will get a receipt. So if I enable that, um, it'll give them an option. Hey, do you want a receipt? Yes or no. So it's, it's really a personal choice. doesn't really matter um, too much. I'm not going to bother with some of these functions. They're all set by default, changing the color of the text. I mean, you can you have some functionalities here. It's not very uh, critical, but can, carrying on here, going next. We're not having to worry about any of these uh, functions. Let them be by default. They're really meant for different levels of programming. <clears throat> and on this last menu here, um, again, we've selected Switch Commerce. So the switch commerce settings, um, we want to disable our ENQ check and EOT check. Both of them are disabled. The message format is going to be number two for Visa. Status monitoring should be enabled. Use 12 digits. Uh, this is disabled, that's fine. We just need it to be. So back to ENQ check is disabled. Yes, EOT check disabled, great. And that was it. We're back out to where we started from with the setup ATM machine, which we've done. We've gone deeper into this menu in, 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 in when we went next, next, next. So now we're gonna go to the TP, TCP IP set. And over here, we are gonna start off on the right here. So DHCP, we wanna enable our DHCP. We wanna go to uh, our SSL and uh, for switch commerce, we wanna enable our SSL. So mark it as enabled and hit okay. URL option, we do wanna enable that. And let's go to then the server URL. We want it to be saying atm1.switchcommerce.net. So I'm already in the URL menu here. So if I was in port, it would go down, but if I wanna change the URL, and this is what I wanna program, I can start programming that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit clear. So it wipes it all out. And then uh, using my keypad, uh, I can start typing whatever it is that I want it to say. In this case, like I said, I need it to say atm1.switchcommerce.net. So A is found on number two. So if I hit two, I'll get the A. And then I need a T, so just eight. And then M, which is six. So as you can see, now I'm typing in lowercase, which is fine. So I want it to say ATM one. Now I need a number one. So it's hit the number button, hit number one, and there I got my ATM one. And I need ATM one dot. And I need back to characters now, switchcommerce.net. I'm gonna make sure we spell that correctly, S. So I pressed 777 where it said PQ, uh, PRS as you saw, SW which is number nine, I is number four, so four, 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 there's the I, T, C, H, C, O, and now I need an M. So M is, is already on the number six button, but if I hit M again, or number six, you can see it keeps going. So I need to actually hit the plus button here to forward the cursor and then oh it looks like it jumped it's a little bit of a software issue i hope they, they'll fix that in the next update but uh, anyway it looks like i'm just going to use my cursors here by going backward two times and then hit uh, m m okay and then i gotta go uh, another m c-o-m-m-e-r-c-e -M -M -E -E. so i'm gonna hit my cursor forward yeah, see, it seems to be jumping. So I'm gonna go back two times and hit another M. Here we go, M, M, E, R, C, E, dot, net, N, E, T. Here we go, atm one dot switchcommerce dot net. That's what I need it to be. And I'm gonna jump over to the port number hit clear. I want it to be 1440. Pretty straightforward. 
So once I'm comfortable with that, just hit OK. And that was server number one. Server number two is exactly the same thing, except it's going to be atm2.switchcommerce.net. For this video, I'm not going to bother populating it, but it does need to be there, atm2.switchcommerce.net. And once you get that, make sure you just OK that. So we're done. Our server settings, uh, and I just hit exit. Um, we don't have to worry about the uh, IP, although if you have your internet wire already connected, um, this is where that IP address and all that would populate. And uh, we're not gonna worry about that right now. So hit exit from there. So we've done our setup ATM, we've done our TCP IP setup. We're gonna exit out of this. Language, you, you can, if you want Spanish enabled, you can also enable Spanish. If you don't, you can just leave it off. That's what that is. Anyway, hitting exit. Uh, we're going to go to the master menu now. This is kind of where we started from, when we're, where we jumped into configuration. So I'm just going to jump onto the, the master menu. And uh, your processor would have given you your terminal ID. If you've opened up an account with uh, Rocket ATM, of course, we would provide you the terminal ID. And this is where you kind of enter it in here. Let's just go ahead. Let's just say the uh, terminal number was something like, uh, I don't know, TX t x and then something with numbers zero eight five 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 one two let's say if that's what your terminal number is that's kind of how you navigate the entering the terminal number um and then passwords we would uh, assign those passwords once you open up your account and routing id if you've already done selected your processor it would it would auto automatically populate which it has so that's good you don't have to even worry about that and then the last part of the activation is actually done in key management uh, for this you'll need to contact uh, rocket atm where we would uh, address that and get the final activation processes set up for you but that's how you set up a balloon configuration so that we can get this uh, atm programmed on the internet